Greetings everybody, my name is Captain Yellow Seeker and welcome back to another Challenge Rift. Challenge Rift 39 for North America and we have Might of the Earth Barbarian. We have the Compass Rose Travel Splash, we have the Endless Walk buff. We have the 20,000% increased damage of Earthquake, Avalanche, Leap, Ground Stomp, Asian Spear and Seismic Slam. We have two of those, we have Leap and uh, Seismic Slam. We also have Fjord Cutter, but we do not have any gems that gives us cooldown or at least an emerald that gives us more damage. But nonetheless, it's actually quite an enjoyable build. So what I want you to do is like make sure that your war cry is constantly up. And make sure that your frenzy is up so you keep generating fury. When you're full, you use your seismic slap. Keep leaping and use your seismic slap. Again, make sure that your war cry is up and you can also in, use your battle rage. So, if you come across an elite, you're gonna use your Wrath of the Berserker. It's gonna increase your damage even more and then you should be good. All right. So what I want you to do is like leap, keep your war cry up, activate your battle rage for the entirety of the of the rift. Again, leap to get your fury full. Use seismic slam when you're full, and use your rest of the berserker when you're at an elite. Beware, your rest of the berserker will be on cooldown when you come across other elites, so you need to be either very swift or very lucky. Alright, but besides that, leap, war cry, battle rage every two minutes, use your frenzy to keep your fury up, and then use your seismic slam to actually kill what's around you. And of course, rest of the berserker only on elites. Alright, without further ado, Let's get into the rift. All right, guys, here we go. Challenge rift, you're on 39. We open up on a cave and the first thing you activate is your war cry. You use your first leap on the mobs that are at the entrance and then you just start walking forward. All right, again, the moment your leap comes out of cooldown, you're gonna use it again. So you keep stacking your fury again. Make sure that your war cry is constantly cast at the moment comes out of cooldown. Use your frenzy to stack fury as well. When you come across your first elite, that is where you're gonna use your Wrath of the Berserker. Activate your battle rage as well at one point and keep it up every two minutes. Don't overuse it because using your battle rage will lower down your fury as well. So basically, leap. War cry, battle rage, frenzy when you come across mobs that you cannot pass, and then seismic slam. Wrath of the Berserker, only on elites. All right, on this floor, we actually break even at the end of this floor, so we're having a good pace here. Use your leap as well to like somewhat have mobility. All right, here we go to the next floor. The Shrouded Moors, you open instantly with a yellow there. And as you can see, your Wrath of the Berserk comes out of cooldown if you use it on the previous floor properly. Which also gonna give you on the second elite, which is a Juggernaut, you're gonna need that one on the Juggernaut. So you have your Wrath of the Berserk on the Juggernaut and you will almost instantly demolish it. Again, War Cry out of cooldown. Leap when it comes out of cooldown. Battle Rage for every two minutes. Keep it up. Your frenzy to keep stacking your fury. Here I take this little mop pack as well for the reason just to have like a little bit of progression. All right, here I'm gonna click on a shield pile. I'm gonna activate this yellow here and then I'm gonna move down to the blue. I'm gonna kite the yellow towards where I am so I can instantly kill the blue and the yellow at the same time. I suggest you do the same because of your having the shield. 
having the shield is going to give you also a lot of survivability and you just go forward All right when you kill the blue and the yellow down there you move up to this little blue plaque over here again leap war cry if possible your battle rage frenzy and you should be all right Here I'm going to use this Wrestle Berserker on this one because it's a Juggernaut. Why on a Juggernaut? Because they are very tough to kill, especially with this build at the moment. And you're going to want that. That Wrestle Berserker is going to save you on Juggernauts. All right, here we go to the final blues on this floor. Again, you will see that I'm almost constantly spamming Leap of Fate the moment it comes out of cooldown. War Cry as well. Make sure you guys use your Battle Rage as well. I forgot to press it. Make sure you do it. All right, final floor. Also, everybody, I'm going to wish you all a happy holidays. Let's hope we will get the patch notes somewhere this week. I have no idea if we're going to get it for season 30. And we're going to see what happens. All right, who do we spawn? We spawn Sand Shaper. So keep your using your leap to stun Sand Shaper because he will move around a lot. Activate your rest of the berserk and all you have to say to Sand Shaper at the end is see you next week, dude. All right, guys, it's not gonna be an easy one. You're gonna have a you might have a little bit of trouble to get through this one. Um, if you follow the path that I take, you will definitely clear it. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Stay healthy and catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.